Continuing our notes with section 3.8, I'd like you to do examples 3 and 4 on your own. So at this point, pause the video. Once you're done completing the example problems, hit play again. In example 3, we're given a couple of different things, but we want to prove that ray AB bisects angle CAD. So what I'd like you to be doing is thinking ahead. I'm just reviewing this idea with you because we want to make sure in order to say that AB bisects angle CAD, we have to think what has to happen as a result. And if that were true, we know that those two angles, CAB and DAB, would have to be congruent. So at that point forward, that should be our goal. Okay, moving forward. So we want to list out our givens. We should get our right angles as a result. And then we should recognize that they gave us a pair of congruent legs already within the triangles. And then we can use reflexive property on that segment AB since both triangles share that side, which would then give us our pair of hypotenuses, congruence. So at that point, we can say the two triangles are congruent by HL. Don't forget to mention the steps that you used in order to show that HL works within the proof. So we mentioned our right angles in steps 3 and 4, and then we mentioned our congruent hypotenuses and legs in steps 5 and 6. From there, we want to think back to the two angles that we wanted to get congruent in the beginning so that we can prove the bisection occurred. So we can list that those angles CAB and DAB are congruent by CPCTC. Following that, we can state our final conclusion, because if those two angles are congruent, then that means that ray must have bisected the large angle as a result. Example 4, here is the answer key, so be sure to be double-checking your answers with mine. Please make sure that you included the right angles as a result of the altitude. And then we have the radii of the circle, which gives us the con congruent hypotenuses. And then we can use reflexive property for the legs. And we just had to use CPCTC for this one. I do want to take it one step further and just compare. I know I mentioned earlier in the notes the difference between side angle side and HL. Just because we've been working with right triangles does not mean that you'll always be proving right triangles congruent using HL. You can still prove right triangles congruent using side angle side. It just depends where your angle is located and which two sides are congruent. So follow the tick marks with me here. To use HL on the left, we would have to have a pair of corresponding legs congruent as well as their hypotenuses congruent. While on the right, to use side angle side, the angle, that right angle, would have to be included between the two congruent consecutive sides, and we don't even have any marks on our hypotenuses in that case. Now, if you do use side angle side within your proof, you do have to add a step that mentions that the right angles are congruent. And if you use HL, you do not have to mention that the right angles are congruent. You just have to mention that you have right angles in the diagrams.